Hello and welcome back to another end of another video. Today we are talking about Tropical Depression 14E in the East Pacific, which currently has maximum sustained winds of 35 miles an hour, minimum central pressure of 1,005 millibars, and is moving west at 7 miles an hour. So let's get right on into it. Starting off here with our warnings and cone, showing that this storm is going to be moving pretty much north north northwest it will be a tropical storm through most of its lifespan being upgraded to a hurricane on saturday into sunday and then deforming back into a tropical storm on monday at least according to the national hurricane center at this point so Let's move on here to the rile time of winds with wind speed probabilities turned on. And you can see that there's a pretty decent chance of tropical storm force winds from right around now through Saturday 8 p.m. 50 to 60 percent chance. And let's move on. Current storm information starting off with our global and hurricane models showing a basic track northwestward and a end point right around Baja California. Either it goes into the Gulf of California or continues to stay in the Pacific Ocean. That is yet to be decided of course. But we do have many different tracks here and the models are really not zoning in on one specific direction for this to go. The GEFS here shows us starting to move further away from Baja California. At least that's the median line. And the GEPS shows it right on the western coastline of Baja, California. So, with intensity guidance, most of the models are pretty sure that this is going to be steadily increasing in strength over the next 48 hours. Then things start to go astray. So, we have some models saying that it's going to take a very significant downgrade back to a tropical depression after that point. Or, it could rapidly intensify into a Category 3 hurricane. Now, of course, those are some outliers, and the general consensus is that this will be a tropical storm or a Category 1 hurricane from hour 48 to hour 168 here. So, let's move on a little bit to the European Ensemble, which shows that National Hurricane Center track right there, with some of those individual... Uh, spaghetti strands as I like to call them uh, reaching up into California Arizona so there are possibilities here that we could see a weak tropical system move up into that area which would probably help with the drought situation over there so what does the HWRF model show for this storm so let's just move on here and take a look so we're just going to be looking through here, 1,003 millibars, slowly getting stronger as it starts to move up. Kind of has to deal with a couple of other low pressure systems. You see that there's one right here that's 993 millibars. But eventually this storm eats that up in a little bit of the Fujiwara effect. As you can see, this storm kind of swirls around and eventually gets engulfed into this system. So, the HWRF has this making landfall in Mexico, getting downgraded significantly, but it kind of picks back up the pace as it moves into the Gulf of California. So, it does show a pretty weak storm for most of the lifespan. So, we just have to wait and see, but if this does get named, it would be Tropical Storm Nora. So, what do you think about this system? Comments in the comment section down below, and if you like this video, consider leaving a like, subscribing, and hitting the bell. But that is all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time.